Welcome to DataBuild's audiovisual instruction. This session looks at the General Ledger basics. Click the Load General Ledger icon on the main toolbar. The General Ledger Chart of Accounts screen appears. To expand a node, click the plus sign, like this one, for the assets. Click the next plus sign down to view the next level of accounts and so on. When you click on an account, the details of the account appear on the right hand side of the screen. You can click on the period tabs to see the figures for each GL period. Note this is a postable account which means transactions can be posted to this account. Some accounts are headings only and you can't post to them. To add a new account, click the add a new GL account icon. Let's add another investment bank, say 1.1050, and click OK. Look, it's put it in the wrong spot. We wanted it under current assets. We can move that, but first we must type in its name. Bank Investment Account. To move across a level, click the move left balloon icon. In the right spot. You can expand all nodes with the expand all nodes icon. There they are. And you can collapse all the nodes with the collapse all nodes icon. The blue and white flag icon selects all or deselects all and the print icon <coughs> prepares a chart of accounts list to print. This is helpful when setting up your account system as you can compare your current chart of accounts with the chart supplied in DataBuild sample data. To delete an account, tick the account box that you wish to delete and click the trash can icon. To get reports, click the load GL reports module icon. The general ledger report screen appears. First click the build report data icon so the system can gather information for the reports. Then click one of the report radio buttons. We'll go for a trial balance and then click preview report. You can scroll up and down the report, click to the next page or to the end. There. We're balanced. That's good. Exit back to the report screen exit back to the main general ledger screen. There are some other icons in the toolbar edit general ledger dates, tax details and edit general ledger control accounts which are covered in the next in the series of these audio visual instruction. That's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.